Hi friends. <laughs> Literally picking up from yesterday, yesterday's video, same day. We gotta get some videos in here. We also had to get some house cleaning done. Today I will show you what I cleaned downstairs, but if you didn't check out yesterday's video, I cleaned the entire bedroom here. It was a big job, so you can check that out, but then it kind of bled to the rest of the house. I didn't do deep cleaning in the rest of the house, but it led to like five loads of laundry that I still have to do today, and it led to the girls cleaning their bedrooms. They're doing their chores decluttering you guys I have an entire trunk full of stuff to take to equivalent to Goodwill or is this called Value Village um, same thing but I'm gonna do that here in a minute I'm gonna go get myself some lunch <laughs> I should just make it here at home, but I need to run all that stuff to Goodwill and go to the bank before they close. I could go to the bank anytime. I just have to do a deposit. and get started with our day here, bring you guys along. One tip I will give you, especially if you have little kids, most of the people that, I, that follow here don't have little ones anymore left at home, but it also works for husbands. <laughs> If you start cleaning with a good attitude, sometimes I turn music on. I didn't do that here in my room. But if you get cleaning and like, anyway, that kind of like gets the spirit of cleaning, I guess. And so other kids and husbands start to follow along and they start doing it. That's how my kids started doing their bedrooms. I kind of bribe them. If you clean up your floor, I'll vacuum for you. <laughs> so little tip of the day. And then when I have a room clean, like this Lego table here, I'm betting you that they will come and play at it again. Just is a weird little phenomenon. Clean things up and people want to come back and play at it. It's a nice environment again. Let me get cleaned up here and we'll start our day. Okay, all ready to go. Give you a little glimpse at the bedroom. Cleaned up that little corner there. Yes, we have a large 12 foot table in our bedroom. It's a long story. Bed is clean. I have more trash that I have to take down. And I will show you the rest of the house because it's really clean and no one comes over anymore aside from teenagers and they don't really care if your house is clean. So here's the playroom. Really didn't need much. I just vacuumed. You have been keeping it pretty clean, Kaylee. And the big, huge bean bags pretty much take care of all the floor space. So not much can get dirty. The girls cleaned their bedroom. Yeah. Thank you. I did. No, you did a lot of work. Problem was a lot of it was your mess, Ash. <laughs> Yeah, but you did you did a good job cleaning the floor. There's a little sticky note. Is that a stay out sign or something? We need to put that in the garbage. Okay. Okay, down here, we're all clean. That picture frame fell off the wall and I need to just put it back up. I had to kind of fix the frame a little bit. So in here is clean. I vacuumed everywhere. The entire house got vacuumed. So in here is clean. This room pretty much stays clean most of the time. And then in the kitchen, we just have dishes to load for Ashley to do. Problem is Abby needs to unload. So we kind of have a little bit of a backup here. So because Ashley is new to loading dishes, I try and like make sure they're all kind of rinsed off, stacked here, kind of in order. Like I stack the bowls up and I kind of get it ready for her to load in kind of a functional manner so she doesn't just kind of put everything in in weird places. So that's why that's just kind of sitting there more laid out a little bit because she can access it. If I normally was, was waiting on a load, I would tuck it back in and stack it up a little bit, but she can't reach it back there. Table is all clean. Kaylee has done her counters in the kitchen over there and here at the table. And laundry, Let me turn the fan off. Laundry, like this is, I mean, <laughs> laundry, laundry, laundry. I have two loads that are done in here. I have a load there I could probably fold now and get out. I probably have two loads of Kaylee and Abby's clothes. I bet there's some darker towels inside that. I have blankets, pillows, and a cozy of Ashley's from the couch and yeah, it's all from the couch actually. <laughs> Her cozy was on the couch. So I have that load to do. I have a load in. Then I have, that has my address on it. So I gotta cover it up. Then I have this, all these books. I've gotta go put these in the car so I can donate these. And then here in my office, I just need them to come get their backpacks away. And then their two jackets need to get washed. Um, we don't have school for a week, so I need this stuff tucked away. Chelsea did not have PE the last week of school because she is transitioning to a new school and they didn't want her to have PE and, and they were cleaning out the lockers. So they just didn't have PE last week. So it just feels good to have a clean house. Also, if you're a mom, even if you don't have kids at home, are you one that things in your pocket to put away as you walk around the house? All right, office, 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 bathroom, office. I only got rid of one thing. <laughs> Dang it. Ugh. I'm determined to have everything gone from my pockets by the end of the day. But for now, I've got to move laundry and get it switched over. I have 13 minutes to fold that next load there, and then I can move them all and cycle through laundry some more. The problem is I'm starving. It's two o'clock. I have not had breakfast yet. I have not had lunch. I've only had sips of this water. I'm not doing well today, but I did not want to stop 
and get out of my momentum. So I'm gonna hurry and move the laundry and then I'm gonna go get lunch and run those errands. Okay, I like time limits. I have folded that load that came out of the dryer and now I have six minutes. Let's see if it's an actual six minutes. Before that is done and I can move it, I'm gonna move everything to the from here and the garage. I haven't even shown you everything in the garage here. That all goes in the garbage or into my car to donate. So I'm gonna go do all that before I um, get ready to move this laundry. Ooh, there's already one minute down. I got five minutes left. All right, I've got everything from the garage and now I need these two boxes and I have two minutes left. Two minutes left on my timer. Oh, I didn't make it. I still have one bucket to put into the car, but it's still going, right? Yeah. Look, she found her reading glasses, <laughs> her blue light glasses. <laughs> and they look, my eyes You need to tiny. put these on when you're watching your iPad, which you probably will a ton I'm this get week. I headaches from it. Yes, so let's start doing that. And then it makes my stomach hurt. Yes. Okay, so here, take this and put it in my purse. Okay. Laundry started, and I was gonna do that on a quick cycle, but they're equally timed, 53 minutes and 58 minutes, and I have one hour to get back before Kaylee wants my car. So I'll do that on a quick cycle when I get home, and then I have all of that to do. I think that will be like one load. I think I can do that. All right, so I've been home for like an hour or so since running those errands. I forgot to film anything. <laughs> I'm going to get errands, and I have been in the bathroom that entire hour. I don't know, my system did not like that I didn't ha eat food today, but I'm making progress on laundry. I have one load left here on the floor and one load going in. Did Chelsea bring me her? I'm waiting on this. Washing all the cozies and my bathroom rug right now. And one, it looks like it's a giant load, but they're just really big and bulky. Make your loads easy. That's literally three cozies, a rug, and I think that's it. This one is gonna be a harder load to fold and put away, so I saved that one for last. That one on, on a quick wash. I just have blankets, towel, and two pillows in this one. Again, that one's gonna be really easy to come out and put away. Valentine's stuff to put away. Check out Chelsea's swimsuit for Hawaii. Isn't that one cute? There's the bottoms and then there's the top. She loves these halter styles. I'm not a huge fan of this down here, but I couldn't find one without it. And they're like on Shein. This, I think this swimsuit was like $5. So she's growing like a weed, so I don't want to spend tons of money on it. And then this one here, same style with the shorts. She loves this. And then the top. Isn't that cute? And little secret. Ashley has the matching one to this one. She's getting this one for her birthday, but I didn't need her to try it on because she already has a swimsuit. So Chelsea did not have one that fit her. So she just has like the tops from the other two sets that we I mentioned earlier that didn't fit. Remember the bottoms that don't fit? The tops do. So they're all black so they can be interchanged with the So and with this actually she could do the top one of them is plain so it could go with that one so that is for why tuck that away all right so i just got home and i gotta show you what i came home to see something that surprised me but uh this is what i saw when i came home <laughs> yes hello what's going on i'm just trying to be like you know the effective wife effective okay. wife i'm effective what's the right word helpful helpful so this isn't working? Nope. Kaylee was out there trying to park and uh, couldn't get the garage door open. So here, let me have this. You go and- the sensors are- uh, No, it, go do the, go, go click it. Go over there and click the garage door. I'm checking certain- So you can, I know, but you, when you hear it, you'll see that it's not the sensors. Um, that's something, more, something yeah, something is, yeah, something is catching it. Holy moly. Oh, what you got? This this whole thing was like moving. This whole bracket. Something's bounded up. Yeah. So the spring broke. spring broke. And I'm hoping we have a warranty on this puppy. It's not that old. It's not that old. We've had this replaced in the last like five years. So that sucks because you can't replace this yourself. You have to have a professional do this. This is you, there's no joke. Yeah. Seriously. Even for such a handyman as this Even man. This amazing individual. Uh, like yes. Me. And with a wife like me, a professional still has to be involved. Hi, welcome home. Hi, I'm gonna go get food. <laughs> As he's walking away to go I get food, he's like, hey, be careful on that ladder. You know, yeah. be safe. As he's walking away, so instead of holding the ladder and making sure I get down safe. Oh, right, I'll hold the ladder. No, but where you like, you know, just like I make sure with it. No, you didn't. You turned around because I turned the camera on. Shut <laughs> uh, up. Uh, the, lady, the lady at work, she goes to a funeral for a friend who fell off a ladder. But then maybe you could have helped me get down. 
You shouldn't be up No, it doesn't go over there. Did you hear a loud bang at all today? I didn't know, but they, it must have happened when, when they left. And I didn't. Must, uh, they, yeah. If you're outside, you would know, but that would have made a. That would have made a huge pop because we heard it pop before. All right. Despite the garage door now being a mess, I have put the last two loads in. Again, that one is an easy one towels, snugglies, and my bath mat. And this one is going to be a lot more involved. I may not be able to get this one hung before we have to leave for game night tonight, but. All the laundry is done. I'm going to have Jason take this laundry and this. That is chuck full. This is heavy. Take this upstairs for me. Hey, Friday night game night. And I think one of our friends isn't going to be able to make it because he, as of two hours ago, three hours ago, was still on a bike ride out in Port Angeles. Look at that on the map. Like lights and. I know. Hey, look at that on a map compared to like Issaquah. It's a long ways away. <laughs> So, I don't know if he's going to be able to make it, and even if he does get home, I don't know if he's going to be able to sit down. So, I don't know if we're going to see him tonight, but we are going to end it here with you guys. I'm exhausted, but it'll be fun to go play games. I'm not that tired. I'm not tired enough that I would go to bed. So, it'll be fun to, like, hang out with friends and chat with him. I, he's been gone all week, and so it'll be fun to hang out. Um, I got all that laundry done except for the last load to put away. I'll probably do that tomorrow. And then we will have to call on that garage door. <sighs> That's just annoying because it's something. It's not something you can fix yourself. You have to have a professional do it and it's like $600. So that's fabulous, correct? I don't remember how much it was, but it, yeah, that's totally It's a lot. Was. Maybe 300 because it was like one spring was broken or something. I don't know. I thought they replaced both. They said they replaced Maybe. both. But it hasn't been that long. They shouldn't break like every five years. No, they shouldn't. So We, we just, do use that door freaking way too much. Normal families open their garage door. It's they, not freaking too much. It's they don't normal. They use it like a door. Okay, whatever. He's being annoying. No, the kids go in and out of it multiple times. Families go in and out of their garage door. Okay, I'm going to end this. Door. You're being annoying. No. You're being annoying. I'm speaking truth. You're being annoying. Speaking truth. So, we're going to end it here with you guys. I'm too tired to like deal with him being like this. So, I need to be with my other friends, I guess. <laughs> Take care, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this day with me just finishing up cleaning and being around the house and whatnot. Um, do you guys get a lot done on Saturdays or is it your day of rest? I'm <laughs> just wondering. I haven't cleaned like that like in a long time. It looks good. Did you notice? I did notice. The bathroom looks clean. Did you actually clean like the toilet? I scrubbed it. It's not... The, the, no, I, I understand. I know don't, it's good. I don't. just wasn't sure if you cleaned it. But no, it's good. It looks really good. I, I ruined like, the wow. toilet and I was thought he would like I would, point that out yet again. No, I wasn't going to say anything. <clears throat> I just wanted wondered to. if you cleaned that He would have said something after the camera the turned off. the other day. Oh. Whatever. I didn't just clean the bathroom, but no, I know you didn't did. notice the rest. Dude, you did the whole bedroom, our bathroom, which is like the master bath. You know, it's got a lot of stuff going on. And you use the master bath. I know. I don't use the counter. I don't use the sinks. I don't use the tub. But I cleaned it today. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Well. See you guys next time. Too much baggage to unravel that. Yeah, there's a lot of baggage in there. He hasn't even noticed that I didn't clean his side of the bed. I won't do that. <laughs> Take care. That. Yeah, I know, because, like, you don't have any argument about it. What's there to argue about? You're a mess, and I refuse I'm to clean it. not a mess. There's not, like, there's no No, they over saw there. it. They saw it. He's a mess. Did you take everything and try to shove nope, it over there? Nope, I didn't. Because I, I picked I, up my pants from there this morning. So there's oh, no your pants. pants. Yeah. They what? saw it. Ladies, you saw it. You what? saw it. Nick, I know you're watching. What? I had a few pairs of socks. Call him out. I had a few pairs of socks. It's a mess. And Bye. I had... Good night. Oh, We're going to turn him off. I don't have Good a nightstand to make a mess like yours. Oh, okay. Good night. <laughs>